excited about what's happening in the area of kind of product iteration. Recently, um, GM actually um, talked about a situation where they were producing vehicles um, and they were getting feedback uh, from some of their users that weren't lived in warm places that the steering wheel was too hot. Because, you know, that's something that might have taken potentially years for them to correct, but because they're getting this real-time feedback, they're able to correct it. We've seen you know, restaurant chains change their uh, recipe for french fries well, um, based <laughs> on consumer uh, feedback. feedback, yes. But do you think marketers are doing enough in terms of responding Mm -hmm. uh, to users on Twitter when you complain. The power of Twitter um, when it comes to customer service is two things. One is com customers are coming to them with more open-mindedness because they're coming in a public dialogue. In the world of Twitter, you often see these dynamics where customers start complaining and at the end they end up thanking the, yeah. the service agents profusely, profusely sure. because they actually are having this public dialogue and everyone can see that the brand is being incredibly yep. responsive and is trying to be helpful. Mm -hmm. The second thing is they're realizing that they're engaging one-on-one, -on -one, which is always kind of the marketing dream, but the problem with one-on-one -on -one is it can be very expensive and you don't really yeah. get the payoff. <laughs> right. But with Twitter, it's one-on-one -on -one with an audience. Uh, tell me, would you recommend to marketers to personify their identities on Twitter, which means that you don't be a staccato brand with staccato responses, mm -hmm. but really are a, a you know a person? Yep. Uh, do you think you know uh, they should have Twitter personalities? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because marketers are used to a monologue, which is, mm -hmm. hey, we will just tell you what you should think about our products or services, and in the world of Twitter, it's a dialogue. Um, and the only way you're going to have an effective dialogue is with understanding what your dialogue personality is and by having voices that support, um, understand and support that dialogue. And so it's one of the you know, additional values of doing customer service on Twitter is it lends itself to this dialogue, which is this opportunity to have a much deeper understanding of, sure. with your customers about what they care about. On that note, Chris, uh, this was truly insightful. Truly a pleasure meeting you and all the very best going forward. Thank you. It was great meeting you and thanks for having me on the show. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.